Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, extreme judges, fellow participants, and distinguished guests. Today, I stand before you to discuss a matter of great importance, the crucial role that young people can play in advocating for the end of torture within our society. Ladies and gentlemen, this topic is very dear to me as you can see that I am a high school student. Let us begin by acknowledging the gravity of the issue at hand, torture in its various forms. It's unacceptable, regardless of when, where, and whom it concerns. According to the Human Rights Act, a person must not be tortured or treated in a way that is cruel, inhumane, or degrading. Yet, torture continues to proceed across the globe, leaving countless lives shattered. Numerous young people like myself can still experience torture every day, even in classroom or at home. Many acts upon pupils in schools are often, are often torturing physically and mentally. Little things like obtaining students from going to the bathroom as a punishment are, of course, a torture. Not to mention a strand of torture that is popularly called bullying. I strongly believe that young people can play a crucial role in advocating for the end of torture in our society. In this speech, I will be exploring several ways in which young individuals can effectively advocate for the eradication of torture. Firstly, I would like to mention education because education becomes the most powerful weapons in the hands of the youth. To effectively advocate for change, we must first engage in comprehensive learning of the problem itself. And by increasing awareness of the meaning, prevalence, and consequences of torture, Young people like myself can, can understand deeply about the aspect of torture and hence can influence public opinion. Note that torture does not just leave physical or emotional scars, but the profound impact it has on individuals, to, to families, and to wider communities. Armed with knowledge, we become ambassador of awareness. Establishing partnership with schools, universities, and organizations can help break the silence surrounding torture fostering the empathy and understanding towards torture. Let me give you an example. In 2014, Amnesty International gathered 17 youth leaders from 17 countries to showcase their work to bring the attention to how youth can help end torture. For example, Malin Lewis Hansen from Denmark showcased her 16 pages of design called Empower at Grand Torturing, which is a series of human rights education workshop, and one of which is called the consequences of torture. Secondly, torture knows no borders. Engaging with local and international human rights organizations can amplify the impacts of young advocates by exchanging of information, sharing of resources, and learning from diverse experiences. These organizations often provide resources guidance, and platform for us to voice our concerns. So by joining or supporting such group, young people can contribute to a broader movement dedicated in eradicating torture globally. Furthermore, young people like us are experts in technology and social activism. In the age of digital connectivity, our smartphones are not just gadgets. There are tools for advocacy. Those platforms like Instagram, TikTok, or Twitter serve as a global megaphone for us to voice our concerns. Online campaigns can reach a vast audience and facilitate the sharing of stories and information. So young advocates can leverage digital platforms to create viral movements, raising the awareness and mobilizing to another level. After all, we are we are experts in social media, and I know you agree with me. Collaboration with policymakers is another avenue of change. Young advocates can engage in local and international authorities to advocate for the implementation and the enforcement of laws against torture by participating in analogs, provide, providing evidence-based solutions, and empathizing with the importance of human rights or even organizing peaceful protests, we can influence legislative changes. And last but not least, young advocates can give a human face to consequences of torture, making it harder for the society to turn a blind eye on torture. 
sharing personal, uh, sharing personal stories of young torture survivors through documentaries, articles, or even art can evoke powerful emotions towards torture. So in conclusion, the end of torture in our society is not a distant dream, but a achievable reality. By understanding the issue of torture, engage with local and international organization, leveraging social media platform, and collaborating with policymakers to influence regenerative changes, giving a human face to the consequences of torture. Young minds like us can be the architects of the world that upholds human dignity and rejects the horrors of torture. Let us stand united in this noble pursuit by helping young people fight for the end of torture in our societies. Thank you.